Are you ready to make the most of your oil and gas mineral rights? Welcome to the Mineral Rights Podcast. Get the knowledge and resources you need to manage your minerals and royalties. Here is your host, Matt Sands. Welcome to episode 12 of the Mineral Rights Podcast. Thank you so much for joining me. My name is Matt Sands, and I'm here to help you make the most of your mineral rights and royalties. Today we have Gabe Wilcox, who's the CEO of MineralSoft, and he's going to tell us how they got started and some of the solutions they offer to mineral owners to help us make sure that we are making the most out of our assets. I met some of the MineralSoft team a few months ago here in Denver and got to see their software firsthand. And I thought it would be great for them to come onto the show and talk about how they can help mineral owners manage the often complex business of making heads or tails of your monthly royalties. Also, this is the first in a series of episodes where we will be featuring companies that have tools and services for mineral owners like us. So stay tuned to find out more about other great companies out there serving our market. Finally, please bear with me on my audio quality in this episode since there's a bit of background noise when I'm speaking. Fortunately for everyone, um, Gabe comes in loud and clear. So before we get to Gabe, I would like to give a shout out to a couple of our listeners who've left a review on iTunes. Jay from Kentucky writes, great content, can't recommend strongly enough for people interested in getting their arms around the subject matter. Thanks for the great material. Thanks, Jay. Appreciate your feedback. Uh, The next review comes from Yolanda Baker. She says, the only podcast devoted to this subject and very thorough too. Good balance between the two podcasters. I enjoy other oil and gas podcasts, but this is the only podcast that I could find about this subject, and it's greatly appreciated. Well, we appreciate you too, Yolanda. Thank you for leaving us a review. And again, as I've mentioned before, we are going to be running a contest for anyone who leaves us a review and a rating on iTunes. Just go to mineralrightspodcast.com forward slash contest to enter, and you can find out more about that. And anyone who has left a review already on iTunes is also eligible. So Jay and Yolanda, don't worry. Just be sure to enter. And uh, we'll be giving away free mineral rights consultation, which includes uh, phone and email support from me, along with my time, to help you make the most of your minerals. And this could include getting a valuation of your minerals to help you understand possible fair market value. And you could use that to help you with negotiating the sale if you're in the middle of that. Um, assistance in reviewing lease offers, or anything else you might need. And this includes up to four hours of my time, which is an $800 value. So um, definitely enter, leave a rating and review, and we will be giving that away in January. And let's not wait any further. Here's Gabe Wilcox with MineralSoft. Hi, Gabe. Uh, Welcome to the Mineral Rights Podcast. How are you today? Hey, thanks, guys. I'm I'm doing well. Happy to be here. Let's start at the beginning, and we'll maybe go take a step back and uh, with a question that usually has an interesting answer. And so, can you tell us a little bit about um, how you got into the oil and gas industry and the mineral rights side? Great question. For me, the beginning actually goes back to sort of growing up in in central Arkansas. It eventually inherited some some mineral assets. Now. Uh, I always tell people that, unfortunately for me, they're Central Arkansas and they're not in West Texas, but it it gave me a little bit of appreciation for the size of of this minerals market, that there are, you know, 7 million or 12 million different people, uh, you know, as as Nero would tell you, uh, who are out there as, as royalty and mineral owners in the U.S., but it certainly gave me a firsthand appreciation for how complicated it can be to, to really own and manage this asset. If you're trying to understand what's going on, there are tons of challenges from, you know, what do we own and where to uh, what's going on on these check stubs I get uh, in the mail every single month. And so that for me was really an education on the market and, 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 and ultimately what led us to, to start MineralSoft. That's excellent. Yeah. So you sounds like you have a pretty good background in the in the uh, minerals and understanding from you know firsthand what the issues people experience. So, so in terms of mineral soft, so how did mineral soft get started? The origin for our company is really that that personal experience plus um, some of what I'd done previously in my career and, and what my co-founder uh, John Parker, who's our CTO, had done as well. Um, so I, I had worked professionally not not in the oil and gas industry. Um, 
but in finance and technology. So um, really uh, investing in uh, early stage uh, software companies uh, and and thinking about how technology could help solve problems across a bunch of different industries. Um, John, my co-founder, is a software engineer, um, had worked in the San Francisco Bay Area for a number of companies um, uh, doing everything from kind of healthcare data, um, you know, processing to uh, uh, to weather uh, prediction and analytics. Um, and so, uh, you know, I guess when you put those two things together as a mineral owner, um, I saw a, a lot of problems and challenges to uh, understanding all this information. It's a bunch of data uh, thrown at you on the check stub side every single month. It's hard to make heads or tails of. Uh, when you're just sitting there looking through your check stub, trying to figure out uh, what did I get paid correctly, um, what's going on with my assets, uh, it's a really tough thing to do by hand. Um, and that's, uh, I should say that that's for me, even with a, a really you know relatively small portfolio, uh, you can understand how that uh, challenge gets gets amplified um, when you're dealing with a larger asset base. Um, so John and I really looked at the problems um, in minerals and thought. This is a uh, this is a problem that uh, that technology uh, should be able to help solve. Um, so we set about building MineralSoft, and and really our our core product today is um, it's around portfolio management. So it's about um, bringing together um, some of your information on the land side, um, the inventory, all your legal descriptions and deeds and leases, and all those documents that might be in a file cabinet today, uh, and tying that together with. Uh, with that revenue and check stub data that that comes in every month, uh, when it's all in one platform, um, you can really uh, get a lot more efficiency. So you, you don't have to go through and, and sort of check every payment, every every well, but by hand each month, which is you know frankly impossible at, at any kind of scale. Um, but it lets you do reporting, it lets you do analytics, and and it lets you drive audit. So you can figure out. Um, using this software tool, uh, you know, fundamentally, did I get paid what I should have gotten paid uh, every single month on every single well? In terms of that, how do you make sure that people do get paid um, what they're what they're owed? Is that um, you know, with integrating the revenue data coming in? Can you talk a little bit about that specific um, feature? Yeah, absolutely. So you know, we we work at MineralSoft. We we work with uh, 125 plus um, different clients. They range today from uh, large public companies all the way to individuals and trusts and families. Um, But what's interesting to us is that across that whole spectrum, uh, people tend to share uh, some common problems. And so that question, did I get paid correctly this month across the whole portfolio, uh, is a really simple question uh, on the surface, but it's very complex to answer. So we think there are, are dozens uh, of different ways that uh, you might get um, underpaid in a given month. And it's everything from, uh, look, do I have a cost-free lease? And are there post-production deductions being taken out of my out of my payment? Uh, that shouldn't be the case. Um, sometimes there are wells that are in production um, uh, uh, on acreage that you own uh, that you just might not know about. You might You might not be getting paid. Um, the decimal ownership interest is, is a big one for our clients, both large and small. Um, you know, a lot of the larger companies we work with are actively acquiring new assets uh, um, as they go along. And so their ownership decimal changes month to month. Um, look, I should say as a background to all of this, um, we, we, we see a lot of mineral owners who are afraid of uh, kind of bad actors on the operating company side. And, and there, there certainly has been some of that. I think history would, would, would prove that out. Um, but what's far more common in our experience is that uh, mistakes are just made um, without bad intent uh, because this stuff's really complicated. Uh, as complicated as it is as a mineral owner um, to understand what's going on across your entire portfolio, imagine the challenge the operating companies face um, without, in many cases, without great technology on their side either when they're trying to correctly pay uh, hundreds or thousands of owners every single month um, on revenue decks that are changing all the time. Um, so we just see a uh, really a data uh, challenge on both sides uh, that results in underpayments. And we, 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 we've heard estimates that, that, that seem right in our view of something like 7 or 8% underpayment uh, across this whole industry over time. 
Wow, that's uh, that's significant. Yeah, I can imagine if you have a significant portfolio, that definitely adds up over time, and you got to keep on top of it. So, you know, can you talk a little bit? I know that MineralSoft has a software component, or you know, that aspect of it, as well as the consulting services. So, in terms of that software, you mentioned a little bit about kind of managing the the revenue side. How do I know? Like one of the one of the things you you pointed out was if you had a well in production that you didn't know about. How do you know when a well is getting drilled on your land? Is that something you guys keep track of and can highlight for owners? Or yeah, it, it sure is, and that, and that's a great question. So uh, I'll speak about the software component first. Uh, we are, as I said, a technology at our uh, company at our core. Um, we think that this uh, industry is has been underserved by technology, and 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 that's really why why our company exists. The platform that we've built. Uh, combines um, uh, several different data sets to get you to those answers. Because, uh, frankly, a lot of these questions about did I get paid correctly, uh, part of the challenge is that you can't answer it just by looking at one data set. You can't just look at your revenue statements and figure out whether you're paid correctly. You can't just look at the land documents, et cetera. Um, So what we do today is we integrate a few different uh, core data sets. Um, I mentioned the land data and inventory, so that that's what are all the legal descriptions um, for the properties we own, what are the associated deeds and leases and, and, and contracts that, um, that, are, that are relevant to, to any kind of production there. Um, we, have a, we have a mapping um, interface, and so we, we, we help you visualize all of your properties on the map so you can understand what's going on um, uh, in, within your properties and around your properties. Um, the second piece is the is the revenue data, and I should say jib data as well. If you're on the working interest side and you're tracking an expense component, um, then we'll integrate that data as well, so you can understand what did I get paid uh, last month, um, what did that look like on a well by well level, um, what did I get paid by in different counties or um, by different operating companies. All all that's easy to to pull out of our system. Um, but the third piece that we brought in ab- about a year and a half ago, which was really exciting for us, is um, what what is the sort of public or regulatory data that will help me understand um, uh, things that I might otherwise be missing? So uh, we're located down in, in Austin, Texas. Um, we partnered with another Austin company, Drilling Info, um, to pull in some of their relevant data sets directly into our product. So today... Um, when you sign on with MineralSoft, you're able to not just keep track of your portfolio information, but we also pull in from Drilling Info their production data across all 50 states, uh, their permit and rig data so you can understand uh, what's going on around properties you own. Is there a rig moving on to location? Are there new uh, permitted wells that you might want to keep track of? Um, and also all that well, uh, kind of well header and completion data so you can understand uh, what formation, you know, wells might be drilling, um, uh, what they produced last month, what the status of the well is. And so, you know, when I talk about uh, missing well, um, we see it in a couple different ways. For our, our, some of our clients on the, the investment fund side might own interest in 30,000 or more unique producing wells. And so for them, it's hard to know just if a well drops off a check in a given month, right? Maybe you've gotten paid for two years straight. Um, but then in your last check run, there was no payment associated with that well. Our system will help flag that and say, hey, this well was missing. You might want to look into it. But the more difficult challenge for a lot of folks is you just might not ever know that a well was drilled and was producing um, and that you should have been getting paid for it. That's what the public data piece and our partnership with Drilling Info really helps you solve so that you can look on the map, you can get an emailed alert, uh, or you can run reports out of the system that will tell you, hey, this is a, a well um, that's reported production to the state. Um, here are the volumes that it looks like it's producing. Um, and it sure looks like it's, it's on one of your properties, uh, but we haven't seen any revenue data for it. Um, that's, that's something that you're going to want to look into. So that's all workflow that takes place within the software product itself. Um, you mentioned our services business, and, and so you know, I'll touch on that uh, quickly. Um, we, we are a technology company, but when we looked around this market, we realized that there are certain groups who are really just looking for a software product to help them run their business. 
But there are a lot of other companies and individuals and families out there uh, who are looking for a little bit more than software. They're really looking for a solution to their problems. And so we built out a team here um, to help people uh, um, on a consulting basis uh, to not just sell them software, but really help them solve problems in the portfolio using the technology we built, uh, but also using uh, folks on our team who are landmen, uh, attorneys, um, uh, people who worked at, at mineral companies and oil and gas companies in the past, so that they can help use that expertise to help, uh, uh, to help our clients, whether it's with an audit project uh, or a, uh, you know, or frankly, a scanning project. We, we've worked with groups where what they have today is a bunch of file cabinets full of paper files. We're able, because of the services team, we're actually able to take those groups all the way from paper files to a fully digital um, uh, integrated solution within the MineralSoft product. Well, and I think that's a that saves us such an amount of time for for pretty much anybody in the oil and gas industry. And you mentioned uh, large oil and gas companies, and also mineral right owner, individual mineral right owners. Who is Mineral Soft's typical client? Is there a group of customers that you typically find yourself serving? You know, it really uh, runs across the whole spectrum. Um, we started this company again. My background is very much uh, on the individual mineral owner side, and I knew for a fact that there there weren't good solutions in the market for for folks like me. Um, so that was really the reason we started the company. I think that what we found um, a, as we've grown is that. Uh, again, a lot of the same challenges are consistent, whether you own um, a, you know, a small amount of acreage or interest in a, a handful of wells, all the way up to the top of the market where there are companies who own interest in tens of thousands of producing wells. The scale is different, obviously, um, but a lot of the, the, the questions they're looking to answer uh, are exactly the same ones. So we think uh, of our of our customer in a, in a lot of ways at MineralSoft as being uh, the asset itself. Um, when we looked around before we started the company, we we had conviction that the mineral royalty and non-operated working interest market was massive. Uh, it, it's a massive share of the value uh, of all oil and gas production uh, in the United States. And we didn't think that anyone had really built solutions specifically for this market. We saw a lot of tools that were really meant for operating companies that got pushed over to this part of the market, and they're really not a good fit uh, in a lot of ways. Um, and so our mission uh, at MineralSoft is, is really we think of ourselves as, as building the category-defining company for this asset. And so the implication on our side is um, – is we, we have something to offer uh, everybody across the spectrum um, who, who owns minerals. If you don't mind, Gabe, take me kind of through, I'm a mineral right owner and I'm signing up with MineralSoft. Kind of take me through the life cycle of what I can expect and what that looks like for an individual mineral right owner as far as getting started with you guys. That's a great question. So um, each, each client has a different um, set of needs and, and different priorities. So we have um, some clients who were very land focused, they, they thought we've got to get our land files in order. Um, either we have a room full of paper today and, and, and we don't know what we own and where, uh, or we're just trying to get things organized with an eye toward the future and, and future generations. And this is, this is a, an important asset that we want to pass down in the family, but we want to make sure it's organized and accessible for, um, you know, for, for future generations to manage. Um, for, for other clients, it's, it, it is a revenue question. They say, I'm, I'm getting check stubs in the mail every month. I'm mystified at, at what's going on uh, because there are hundreds of pages, uh, and it looks like a telecom bill from the 1980s, right? I, I can't really make heads or tails of, of what's going on there. I need to get a handle on these payments and make sure I'm, I'm not being underpaid. In, in either case, uh, what, what we do is we, we have a team – uh, on, on our side that helps with the implementation and onboarding process. Um, that's really taking all the data that you have and pulling it into our system, um, making sure that it's all uh, correct and up to date uh, and ready to, ready to load into the platform so that you have a nice, clean set of records to start with. 
that can be small. Um, that could be uh, uh, clients who, uh, again, um, have limited land records or uh, are really revenue focused. We can have them up and running in a matter of a couple weeks with everything in the system. On the other extreme, um, that could be uh, our team helping to digitize and scan and upload a whole room full of documents, which is a, a kind of project we've taken on before as well. Um, but the end result will be uh, all of the data about your portfolio um, into our system in a clean and organized way so that you can access it 24-7 um, from anywhere in the world um, to get information about the portfolio. Now, on an ongoing basis, once you're set up in the platform, uh, there are a, a few different workflows that, that all of our clients tend to really appreciate. Uh, one is that you'll get a daily email from us about activity on or around your properties. So when I mentioned the drilling info um, partnership before, um, that's something we're able to do because we have all the information about your assets. And then from drilling info, we're collecting information about everything going on um, new production, permitted wells, um, rigs moving on to location um, on or around your property. So we'll send you an email every morning um, that tells you about uh, new activity around what you own. Um, further to that, I, you know, people tend to access the system uh, on, on a, a daily basis. Uh, what they do in there depends on the nature of the company. So for individuals or, or families or trusts, um, they might uh, they certainly uh, take advantage of the daily alert emails to understand things that might change um, what they would do in the portfolio or, or require some action on their part. Uh, but they, they tend to take advantage of the reporting um, capabilities. So whether it's uh, for taxes or for sharing with other stakeholders, other family members, um, sending to accountants, that sort of thing, you can run really clean, uh, easy reports out of MineralSoft that gets you all the critical information about uh, the minerals portfolio um, uh, so that you can manage it properly. Uh, some of our clients who are more um, investment funds, public companies, you know, large kind of corporate type users, uh, they may have a team of, of 30 or more all working in MineralSoft every day uh, to manage the portfolio. They'll be acquiring new assets. Uh, they might be um, thinking about divesting or selling some of the properties in the portfolio. Uh, they're auditing constantly to make sure they get every dollar on, on every single well and property. Um, so it really runs the whole spectrum. We built a product that is, uh, you know, it's robust enough to support the really top end of this market. Um, but we also feel that it's, it's accessible and intuitive enough um, for anybody to pick up quickly and use and, and really get value out of day to day. And you mentioned the professional services side. Um, you know, when you're going into like property audits, how does that relationship look? I mean, you know, that's something that you realize, hey, there's a problem here. I haven't been paid correctly. What is the next step? I mean, what does MineralSoft help the mineral right owner with, and, and how does that relationship look? Uh, that, that's a good question. So our 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 professional services was, uh, you know, as I said before, we we launched um, that practice this year. Um, really because we wanted to meet the market where it is, which is to say we, we had um, clients saying, I have a specific problem. Um, can you help me solve it? And we wanted to be able to say, yes, we can. Um, so sometimes that's audit um, in a project type scenario where we have a client who uh, has a feeling that, that something's not right um, with some of their properties and they want um, a professional to help look into it. Uh, we're able to do that, and we're able to do that really efficiently, by the way, because everything we do on the services side is powered by the technology we built. And so we're able to do things in an automated way and do things using software uh, that I think traditionally were done uh, manually, which, which you know, is a, is a more expensive and a more time-consuming way to go about it. Um, but another one we see is, is actually – uh, a, an ongoing service type relationship. Um, so that looks a couple different. That looks like a couple different things. Um, for for some of our uh, of our clients, they uh, are looking for some kind of a function, whether it's help me audit division orders when they come in every month, uh, or help me with the GIS and mapping piece. Um, but they're not really in a place where they think they need a full time hire um, uh, in any one of those functions. So we're able to um, effectively let them outsource that to MineralSoft, um, do it in a really efficient way, um, and save them the cost of you know ongoing overhead by growing their staff. Um, on the families and trusts and individuals, I should say, uh, particularly that's been a big growth area for us this year. 
Um, that that part of the market, uh, I think, has been um, served in large part by by banks um, and sort of wealth management or trust departments in the past. But to be honest, there aren't that many banks out there who are really expert in oil and gas or especially expert in, in minerals and managing a portfolio of minerals. Um, the fees tend to be tied to revenue on the bank side, which often isn't appealing for, for the client. Um, and, you know, the level of transparency and the level of service, I think, hasn't always been uh, all that attractive for folks who have gone down that route. Uh, and you also just see, you know, with a, a generational shift when when the minerals tend to end up in the hands of, uh, you know, a, a younger generation that's used to logging in online and checking their bank balance or checking their stock portfolio, um, the way the banks manage minerals um, doesn't make a lot of sense to them, frankly. It feels like an old school model. Um, so we've launched a uh, full service asset management uh, offering for um, anybody who's looking for a modern, technology driven, efficient uh, asset manager for uh, their portfolio so that they have full transparency into what's going on. Uh, they have full access to, to, to log in and, and see what uh, the most recent activity is with the portfolio. Uh, but our staff takes care of um, verifying the payments every month, um, checking those division orders when they come in to make sure um, that the interest calculation is correct, uh, and any kind of uh, other issues that might come up um, uh, over the course of the year in managing the portfolio, our team uh, can handle. And so that, that's something that, you know, again, we really started uh, with more of the investment funds and the corporate type of customers. They came to us saying, um, can you help with this function? Can you help with that function? And what we realized was, you know, we built a team that is uh, experienced at, at that level of the market. They're really best in class talent when it comes to minerals. That's, that's all they've ever done. Um, and so we've taken that model to um, individuals, trusts, and families to say, um, hey, there's now an option out there in the market with MineralSoft uh, where minerals and royalties and non-op is, is all we do. Uh, we've built proprietary technology to help us do it in a more efficient way than really anybody else in the market. Um, and we have a team of experienced professionals um, to provide services around portfolio management. Um, so we can be really cost competitive and, and we think offer uh, uh, the best solution in the market. Thanks, Gabe. Um, you mentioned in terms of the actual um, services there, you know, it sounds like it's you know an ongoing relationship is, is one side of things, but then from um, let's say I'm a mineral owner that is looking for a one-off audit on an individual property. Is that something that you guys can handle as well? Say they're not, I'm not a client of MineralSoft. They, you know, I just need some help in chasing down some, uh, some missing royalty payments. Is that something you guys offer as well? Absolutely. We do everything from, uh, from, from help me with a one-off audit project to um, I have all my kind of asset inventory and I want you to help me put my shapes on a map so that I can visualize that all the way to the extreme, as I mentioned, of I'm looking for a full service portfolio management company. Um, how can you help me uh, uh, take that over? Um, we do everything uh, uh, along that whole spectrum. Okay, thanks. Um, and, and at what point, I guess, does it make sense for um, people to look at uh, mineral soft is perhaps a solution for them. Is there a portfolio size or kind of a monthly revenue amount that you, you sort of see your clients falling into? I know you mentioned, you know, really, I feel this pain, you know, ever since I've been involved in this side of the industry is, you know, no matter how big the portfolio, obviously those, those problems exist, but from just a, I guess, practical standpoint, is there any sort of guidelines you would offer to somebody to say, hey, yeah, this is sort of our typical customer size? You know, it, it really varies for us. I, I, I think um, the, the, the rule of thumb that, that I would suggest is, is to be a good fit for, for what we do. Um, the portfolio needs to be both valuable enough and complex enough uh, to care about. So on those two dimensions, you know, valuable enough is, um, is, is a little bit subjective. That, that sort of depends on, on the, what the individual definition of, of value is. And we, we have a lot of folks who might not have a lot of production today, um, but they really believe this is an asset they want to pass on uh, to future generations. And they've, they've seen, you know, the, the history of that, what's 
not very uh, lucrative today might be a very valuable asset in the future, and so it's still important to them. Um, complexity uh, as a driver is, is, is another one. Um, look, I, I, my experience as a, as a small individual mineral owner was that this stuff gets pretty complex pretty quickly. Um, that said, we've seen, um, you know, we, we've talked to, uh, to folks before who have very valuable assets, um, but they have very, very low complexity. And the classic example of that is, you know, well, I have, um, I have four wells on my property and I own a full, um, you know, quarter kind of uh, mineral, mineral interest there. Uh, but I can look out my back porch and, and see the wells um, and I can, you know, call the, uh, uh, you know, call the executives of the company who are drilling anytime I want and get any information I want. Um, that's a really great position to be in. That's not very common uh, in the minerals world. Um, but look, if you are, if you're in that position, um, you might have a handle on it without, uh, you know, without sort of the the solutions that we bring to the market, and and we understand that we don't we don't see it we don't see it very often. I think it's far more common that uh, the portfolio gets a little hard to manage by hand, um, even if you only have interest in uh, a relatively small number of wells. Um, but there are always exceptions, and if there's there's not enough complexity if you if you don't feel enough pain um you know day to day and managing it uh the way you are uh then we might not be fit that makes sense yeah so it's kind of on a case-by-case basis sounds like it is it is yeah um so wrapping up here before we um close out are there any new features coming up that you're excited about or that you um can share with us today Sure, we have we you know we have a um, a constant um, new development here. I mean, we are a a very uh, R and D focused business. Um, we're constantly pushing new features into the product, and and the way our product's deployed, by the way, it is a you know modern um, cloud based uh, software product. And so, one of the benefits of that, uh, other than um, you know uh, ease of access and and no installation costs, is that uh, when we when we uh, release upgrades in the in the platform, uh, those get pushed to all our clients, and so there's not a version one, version two. Um, as long as you're a customer, you get to benefit from all the latest and greatest. A um, couple things that we pushed into the product recently. Uh, one would be uh, we really upgraded the way we track units. Um, so if you think about a you know drilling uh, unit or a spacing unit, um, we found that a lot of our clients are. Uh, really focused on what what's the unit and and what is my effective ownership of everything that that, that goes on in that unit in terms of production. Um, so we pushed a feature uh, that will let you uh, draw those units on the map, um, track activity, uh, new wells, new permits, rig activity uh, in and around those units, um, and actually even forecast your your decimal interest. So um, uh, you can. Uh, input your land information, uh, and then even before you receive a division order, you can forecast what you think your ownership interest uh, ought to be uh, so that when those division orders do come in the mail, um, you're ready to, uh, uh, to you know, really understand what you think you, you ought to own in, in that unit. So that was, that was a really exciting one for us. It's been a big one. Uh, it's been a really big hit for our client base so far. Um, another big one for, for us that's right around the corner is, is a, a, a big upgrade on our mapping system. Um, so people in our industry love maps. Um, that, that's always been the case. We see maps on the wall every time we go and visit with one of our clients. Um, and so we put a lot of resources into pushing some enhancements. So you're going to be able to search more efficiently from the map. Um, the look and feel is, is, is greatly improved. It, it even has a three-dimensional component, um, which, is, which is really cool to, to play around with. Um, but uh, being able to kind of look at the map and understand at a glance uh, what is activity, um, you know, what's the status of these wells that I'm looking at, uh, we have a new release right around the corner that's going to make all that uh, a lot more powerful and a lot more intuitive. And again, I know I know how uh, how our clients uh, and and folks in this industry generally feel about maps, and so I think that that's going to be really exciting as a release too. Yeah, that sounds real exciting. I'm I'm a big map geek as well, so that um, would definitely be appealing to me. Um, well, thanks for sharing that and uh, kind of a preview of what's coming up. Can you tell us a little bit more about where our listeners can go to learn more about MineralSoft and how uh, people can contact you guys? 
Yeah, absolutely. Um, like if you if you check out our website at mineralsoft.com, uh, M-I-N-E-R-A-L-S-O-F-T.com, uh, you can learn a little bit more about our services, um, see some screenshots of the product. And we even have a section on there where you'll be able to watch a few videos to get a better sense for exactly how the software piece works um, and maybe understand how it, uh, how it might fit with some of the challenges you're facing today. Um, you can certainly uh, call in or email, um, and our sales team is able to, to do a one-on-one -on -one demo um, just over a screen share. Um, so we can do that remotely anytime uh, and walk you through a, a personalized demonstration of, of how the product might work. Awesome. Thank you for sharing that. Anything else you want to mention that we haven't already covered? Um, you know, I, I, I don't think so. I, I would say that, um, you know, we started this company in, in 2015 with really an eye on the problems of the individual mineral owner. Um, so I'm proud of what, what we've built. I'm proud of, of the solutions that, that we've you know, put into the market um, because I do think it was a big challenge and it's, it's, uh, it's something that affects a lot of people. Uh, there are a lot of mineral owners out there who are, who are looking to get a handle on what's going on with their assets. Uh, but we've also been really excited over the past few years at the growth in the space. I think that um, minerals are more important now um, than ever. We see more uh, people interested um, uh, in minerals. We see larger companies who are really um, coming up with a mineral strategy for the first time. Uh, and so we think it's a real benefit to everybody in the market um, that more and more folks are coming around to recognizing the value uh, of the asset and the importance of the mineral asset. So it's a really exciting time in our view. I agree. Well, thank you, uh, Gabe, again for your time today and for sharing uh, the stuff that's going on at MineralSoft. It sounds like a lot of exciting things to come as well. Um, I appreciate it. Thank you both. I appreciate you having me. Thanks, Gabe. Thanks so much for listening to the Mineral Rights Podcast with your host, Matt Sands. Don't forget to subscribe and share at mineralrightspodcast.com. The Mineral Rights Podcast should not be construed as investment, legal, or tax advice. All information is believed to be from reliable sources. However, we make no representation as to its completeness or accuracy.